So have you confirmed that you're working in Unreal? If you're using MetaHumans, isn't that integrated with Unreal or can it be used with any engine? Well, technically you can use it with any other engine. We we are using it with Unreal Engine, of course, uh, because mm. at the end of the day, you know, you you can you can export the character and then with with with, with Maya with FreeS Max, yeah. you can just import it. And you know, if you take care of the blend shapes and, and the and the morph targets and you know create your own rig, yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. But mm -hmm. I don't think that Epic allows that. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Yeah, I messed around in Unreal 5 a bit, and I've used uh, way back in the day 3ds Max. So, uh, I, yeah, I was just curious if I don't know if you had confirmed you were in Unreal 5 or not. Um, yeah, Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, cool. Let me ask you about Unreal. What what attracted you to you're using Unreal 4, right? You're not on the on the five, obviously. What attracted right. you to to Unreal 4? I think one of the compelling things in your favor in this whole drama is that you are active on the Unreal forums and have been. For a long time, people know that and, and have brought that up. That was another thing that was in the Bloomberg article and the NME article you, that you yeah. did an interview for. So, what was attractive <laughs> to you about this? Because one of the things that people are are contesting from a from a because you're talking about how you're an indie, your guys are claiming 4K at 60, um, native 4K yeah. on PS5, which is not unbelievable, but it, it, games come at that. But <laughs> what was attractive to you about Unreal 4? And I'm curious, like, what kind of if you have a specific publishing deal over there or licensing deal, or if your deal is the standard. Um, yeah, Unreal Engine 5. Yeah. You're using Unreal 4, right? You're not on, on the 5, obviously. 